Good morning, gorgeous banana. You're supposed to say good morning, gorgeous mom banana. Good morning, gorgeous banana. Thank you. Good morning. Hi, She's like, what the heck are you doing with a camera in my face? Oh no, I almost hit her. Hey, you too close. Patras. Too close. Hi. Now she's back there. I am back there editing the last couple of clips, which is like three of them, and then I'm done. Today's so sleep. I was gonna say anyway. You guys, I'm not gonna believe it, but I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. Man, it feels good to be sleeping in like that. Thank you, Emily, for letting me sleep in. I felt amazing. <laughs> Here. Can you explain to me what you're trying to do to your Barbie right there? Here, I'll let you watch it. I'm trying to see what's in it. What do you mean, what's in it? Like, I don't know. Like on YouTube videos? No. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't let you watch YouTube no more. No, don't do that. You can hurt your fingers. That would look, look how close that scissor is to your fingers. Like that. Emily's learning how to eat off a bow. I need it. Not, that's not quite right, baby. Con la cuchara, mi amor. She's eating uh, eggs and beans. Now she's eating, look. Oh my God, every time I get the camera, she stops doing it. Look at those messy hands. Look at this. Look at those messy hands. Hello, messy mommy. Hello, messy girl. Hi, you guys. It is 3.43 in the afternoon. It is a late start to the vlog. I know. 
um, I got ready for no reason. I got dressed. I got, I don't know. I just needed some me time, refocus, readjust myself. Good. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm here at Stephanie's school now, waiting for her to get out. She'll be out like in two minutes, and then we will be heading over to my mom's house to go visit my mom. I have not seen my mom. I want to say in weeks, probably. Yeah, it's been weeks since I've seen my mom. So gonna go get my mom a visit gonna go see my mother I haven't seen I said in weeks and then we'll be back home but for right now that's the plan nothing interesting um oh yeah update on the apartment we are now number two on the waiting list which I'm very excited yet nervous for the packing and moving since we're gonna be told a very short notice this is our last month in our apartment I just remember because I got a paper on the uh, door where it said it's time for you to renew or we're gonna go to a month to month lease which is what are we go what we are planning to do and they don't call us this month because this is our last month for our contract after September comes October which will mean that starting October we will get the month to month rent fee it's higher than what we pay now because it's a month to month lease but it's gonna be our only alternative since we have nowhere else to go so Hopefully they call us pretty soon uh, here, probably like in two weeks to tell us that we are ready and the apartment is set to go and we will get the packing going. Also, I don't want them to call me like the last week of September because that would mean I only have one week to get everything out of the apartment so we don't have to pay rent for October. So fingers crossed and they'll call us pretty soon and we get the packing and moving going. So got you guys up today. I'm so excited today. I don't know why, but I'm excited. What you learn about school today? Um, Math, science, reading. You have anything for me in your folder? Did you finish your lunch, Mama? I need a chair. Yes. All right, we are heading over now to my mom's house. It is 3:50. She was out pretty fast, and we're out of traffic in like five minutes, two, three minutes. Alright, it is 4.13, made it here at my mom's house, but she's still not here. She's stuck in school traffic with Wendelin, which is Wendy. And I brought you Emily to the front because she is crouching in the back. And now we're waiting. What? Mini driver. <laughs> What's so funny? You got it. Capital W. How you doing? The same, just all the way to the top. Ooh. Ooh. She's so much bigger now. You guys remember when she was so little? Ah. 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 <laughs> Psych dragon! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> we School walks in the mornings, huh? We walk every morning to school. Now it feels so good. Red shot here, so. Say good morning, mama. I usually have her facing the other way, but she got to the point that she's choking on herself, so I'm gonna put it this way. Me and her Jojo bow. Watch it, hold on. Because everybody thinks that they're cool. Everybody thinks that they're cool on the first day of school. Someone let me know who I am to her. Since we are already here, might as well check. No. Nope, nothing. This is our morning walk. Well, my morning walk. I took a shower last night, so I'm sweating clean, if that makes sense, instead of sweating dirty. I'm just cooling down now. My back is soaking wet. The stairs usually used to keep me out of breath. You guys remember that when I would be like, all right, you guys. <sighs> yeah. It doesn't do that no more.
Hello you guys, it's a while, while back, no not a while back, it's a while later now, it's a long time from the last clip of um, working out in the morning. Um, Stephanie's now home, it is 1.41, yeah, and she is two hours early. That's a lot. She's two hours early, I'm gonna take her to the doctor, she has a doctor's appointment at 2.30. Uh, the counselor called me that Stephanie was complaining about vaginal pain um, and abdominal pain. So, fingers crossed, this is not a UTI infection. Um, she did have two accidents today at school, so hopefully it's not a UTI. I just hope it's not a urine tract infection. Okay, no more. I just hope it's not a urine tract infection, but she is complaining that it does burn. Do um, you know what I mean? Okay, don't put a lot. So we're going to take her and see how that goes. Uh, I'm just nervous. I just hope it's not a UTI. That's a painful thing. Don't kick her. Emily, be nice. No, no. That's how she kicks you. Um, and then I went to the bank, which I just remind myself because I have to take the money out of my wallet. I'm not supposed to carry that around. Um, I went to the, oh, and I went to Walmart. I needed waters and coffee because I'm out of coffee. And in case if you guys want to know which one I use, I use the Folgers coffee. So they have the mild one, the mild roast, which is called the breakfast one. And then they have the medium, which is the classic. And then they have the uh, medium dark, which, which is the one I want to try just because this one, it is caffeinated, but I just need a little bit more caffeine. Yeah, it makes up to 200, 240 six ounce cups. Wow, I've had 240 cups of coffee. Okay, uh, did she think she didn't want no more? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Do you have your folder with you? Check your backpack. Um, so yeah, that's the whole setup right now. We're gonna take Stephanie to the doctor and hopefully get it checked out. Most likely, I'm gonna ask for a urine sample, blood work, everything, the whole nine yards. Just because last year, the whole thing happened again. And they said she didn't have anything. That she was just being lazy. And I got to the point that I don't think she's being lazy. I think it's something more serious. Because she pees in, in bed. She pees in school. She now throws herself on the floor. She can't hold it. She doesn't have control of her bladder anymore. So I don't know. I'm going to go. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I don't want them to just be like, oh, it's a simple UTI infection. And it's not. I'm, I, my motherly instinct tells me it's something much more bigger than just a urine tract infection because to the point that she throws herself on the floor because she can't hold it any longer and just pees that tells me there that she has no control of her bladder so it's not i don't think it's probably i don't know i'm gonna get to the bottom of this I don't, they tell me it's a urine tract infection i want them to do bladder work everything i don't know how you get a bladder tested i want them to go the whole nine yards because this is just getting out of control it's, this is year two, and they haven't done anything about it. This is not normal anymore. It's getting out of control, so I'm going to get to the bottom of this and hopefully get some answers today. Hey, kill me. What are you doing? <laughs> she stands up on the thing. Ven. Ven. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Parate. Oh, now she's trying to act like she don't know her. Vente, uh, bebe. Come on. Ven, 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 ven. He's a stinking key, you butthead. Vente. All right, 2.06, not the time that I expected to leave. I was planning to leave exactly 2 o'clock. It's a 30 minute drive. But I feel like there might be traffic. Figures cause there's not. Um, heading over now to get some answers because again, this is not normal. This is not normal. I don't think this is laziness anymore. I think this is something medical. I think there's a medical problem behind all this. So let's go ahead and get some answers and uh, figure out this situation out. And hopefully we get some medication for it. We already got Stephanie to pee in a cup, huh, Mama? Sit on top. And wait patiently. Legs that way. Is it too funny?
day the counselor called me saying that she was complaining about a vaginal pain and stomach pain and she pees on her bed. I've taken liquids away from her after five, no mm -hmm. liquids. I take her to the restroom at home. I make her go to the restroom like every two hours. Well, we check her urine and it's super clean. There's no infection. Mm -hmm. So definitely no UTI. Okay. So, um, it's a fine local light irritation, which is what I'm going to look for. Um, sometimes I have a little, was there any swimming recently? No. No? Okay. Sometimes it's a little gross, uh, sometimes it's a little clean all the way, or sometimes they, they clean too rough. So there can be little pieces of toilet paper left in there, and mm -hmm. that discharge could be from the leak, like leftover stuff that was there. Um, so I'm gonna check you. Okay, mommy, see that? mommy's here. Okay, no one else is allowed to look there except mommy and doctor. When doctors with mommy, okay. <laughs> All right. She also holds it, but can't hold it. Like she tries to hold it, and ends up throwing herself on the floor. Like yeah. she can't hold Definitely it. Definitely irritation. When did you first notice this? On Monday, when she told me. Because yeah. every night she pees on that. There's not one night that doesn't go by that she doesn't pee. So I've taken everything. Okay. I've taken liquid, soda, everything. Do you see this red mm -hmm. stuff? This is candle. It kind of looks like ringworm in the mm -hmm. room. Yeah. So if you know this area, and this is the way you see the characteristics this, okay? So we're going to take one. Would this help the bed wetting or no? Because um, I don't give her liquids after five. She is, how old is she? She's six. She's six. Yeah. Um, she's in that gray area where technically it's still, well, not okay, but it's still acceptable to have a child that still wets the bed. Um, mm. They said it's been going on for a while. Yeah. So let me, what I would like to do in that case and refer her to a urologist, um, and they'll work with you on certain mm. techniques. Mm. That they do. And they may or may not decide to convert the medicine that helps with the with the urination. Okay. Um, this should be that's the last one. The first they try to do more like techniques, but you're doing it right, you know, with strength and liquid and stuff like that. But sometimes when you do have a superficial irritation, sometimes that can cause you to pee. Okay. So Stephanie is being lazy. I'm just playing. Um, so one, she's not emptying completely her bladder, which is the reason why she always goes. Which makes sense. Let me tell you guys why it makes sense. Because every single time she goes to the restroom, she is running back or rushing. She doesn't empty completely her bladder because if she's in school, if she's in school, she wants to hurry up to make it back to the recess time. And she, what do you teach her to do? Anyways, that's one of the reasons because she's not emptying her bladder. That's one of the reasons why she's constantly needing to go to the restroom. Also, um, the bedwetting, it's, you sidetracked me, Nani. She's not emptying her bladder, which is constantly making her go to the restroom. What well, she got around her vagina area, she got ring, ring worms, which is causing the irritation, which could lead to her bedwetting, but she's not 100% sure. So she's transferring me to a urinologist. A urinologist. A urinologist. Yeah, I was right. A urology. Uro urology, urology, urology. So like I was saying, she's gonna get sent to a specialist because it's getting out of control, like I said. I can't control it. She can't really do much. Her urine test came back negative. It's actually very healthy. She has a very healthy urine. As crazy as it sounds, she doesn't have any infection in her urine. Her urine is clear. It's, it's good to go, which is why she's gonna send me which is why she's gonna send me with a urologist, urologist to get it all done. Down, she said. Oh, she also said she could be having, she could have an overact, an overactive bladder, which means that she's just her bladder is just super active and needs to go every single time. And it's getting to the point that probably her bladder is getting weak, so she's not really getting control of it. So she's gonna send me over. She sent a referral over to the urologist, like I said. 
and hopefully uh, we're gonna get some answers and hopefully she doesn't have an overactive bladder because she did say that she no wow my camera almost fell she did say that there is she might think it, it's probably an overactive bladder or it could be a whole bunch of other things but she's she, she's not having a fever she her back doesn't hurt could it could be kidneys uh, everything's good here on her end she's kind of just sending her over to a urologist to get it all done to get it specialized and get more information better testing so we're gonna wait for that appointment yeah and hold on and we need to be back in two weeks she sent me one of the things for the uh, ringworms and then one orally what happened you think she broke her teeth okay not yeah, that's what's going down. Um, I guess we're just gonna wait until we get a referral from the, uh, we get a call from the urologist, which I don't know where he would be at, but whatever it is, we gotta get this done and situated. It looks like it's going to rain. Where are you? Parece que va a llover. El cielo se está nublando. Parece que va a llover. Ay, mamá, me estoy mojando. Let me see. Okay. So we got medicine for Stephanie. Huh? We have the seven-day vaginal cream. You know what that's going? Oh, okay. Uh huh. And then we got this stuff right here. Whoa, Emily almost fall. The flacone, whatever. Stop from there. <laughs> and this is shake well and give Stephanie three millimeters by mouth day one. Then take 1.5 mil by mouth for six days. What do you want? Get get it. You want in the mood? No, no, no boobies. A ver, di titi pues. Te doy. Di titi. Di titi. Let me forget you and your titi. Babies get entertained with the most dumbest, simple things ever. A Walgreens bag. Isn't that fun? I have toys, right? Well, you can just have Walgreens bags. Yeah. And it started to rain. Inside. Inside now. You just wanted to see. You don't have to go all the way outside. And then pick up everything that's from your medicine and put it in that Walgreens bag so you can throw it in the trash. Okay. Um, I already gave it Stephanie her medication. And I put, I already put the vaginal cream on and everything. I'm going to go ahead and make me a coffee. And then I'm going to get the flour to go in for the tortillas. Make the tortillas for dinner. And uh, peel the potatoes for dinner. Basically get dinner going. Get dinner a head start. And then uh, Emma's in the packing place. She's throwing a fit right now. But she needs to go to sleep. Because she's only taking one nap all day today, so. That's it. Put it in the Walgreens bag. Yeah, there's a Walgreens bag by the couch. No, that one, no. Put this in that Walgreens bag right there. So yeah, I'm going to make me a coffee and then get everything going.